Yeah, you're more in the light than I am. Well, that won't work. Let's tango! You can't see it. This is hilarious. Okay, this is awful. This is hilarious. I'm not blocking the light at all. I'm like, so putting this in like super hyper cherry dress. Okay. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. Do you know how funny this will sound? Yes. 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 Yep. 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 Hi guys, I'm Kimberly Cherry and today I'm going to walk you through how to, come on camera, focus on the pony, you can do it, can't do it. Okay, uh, we're going to be doing a little tutorial on prepping Friendship is Magic or G4 My Little Pony. So here we go, here's our little $3 pony. We were so happy to see this Easter promotion come out, we stocked up big time. And, okay, we will be harvesting this hair today. And it's already in this nifty little ringlet, as well as it has a band in it. So, all I have to do is cut it off. Yay! So, let's just do that shot. Oh, no. We won't be cutting the tail off. Duh. Because, um, obviously, we want to we wanna keep it. So, we're just going to cut off the hair. And you can either start from the front. Okay, hang on. Wrong scissors. Okay. <laughs> Uh, you can either cut the hair from the front or the back. It doesn't really matter. I typically start from the back, and there's probably a good reason for that, but it's not coming to me at the moment. So anyways, I am just cutting the hair as close to the vinyl as I can, like so, and this just obviously gives you that much more hair that you've harvested. And turn your head back around here. We shall throw her in a pot of boiling water and pull out her tail and her hair, and then we'll come back. Okay, so here we go. Hopefully she's warm enough so that, oh yes, she's definitely warm enough to yank her head right off. And so, this is definitely my favorite knot part. We're going to take our X-Acto knife and just push it gently. Gosh, and I might have to throw her back in there. It's not really wanting to easily cut through this vinyl. Okay, here we go. And just keep the blade tilted towards the inside of the neck. Patience is definitely a virtue when you're doing this and these tools are very, they're, you have to be careful with them. They're serious business and you don't want to cut yourself and you don't want to cut the vinyl which is also very very easy to do especially when this vinyl gets nice and warm. It's easy for the X-Acto knife just to go shoop straight through the vinyl in the neck and you don't want that either so keep the blade tilted in nice and slow does the trick all the way around ah. and you can see I have a glove on my left hand that I'm holding the pony with and that's because she has been soaking for about mm, I'd say seven eight minutes in a nice gentle boiling pot of water and she's very hot so that's what that lime green glove is about there all right come on now oh check it out sweet okay and from here we're just gonna grab our pliers and yank the tail make sure you get the evil metal washer do, 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 do. Okay. And you may or may not need to throw the pony's head back into the pot of boiling water if the glue is cooled off a lot. And I should have cut her hair shorter. It's too long. Okay, hang on. Let's try something else. Okay, no. It is. It's going to come out. It's going to come out. It's just... I say fun. I say fun. And a lot of times the glue in these ponies' head is so excessive out of the factory that elbow grease brute strength is your best friend. And yeah, this is pretty much how you prep them. This is, like I said, my favorite knot part. 
tomorrow my hands are going to be so sore. They're going to be like, what did you do to me? And I think I may just throw this pony back in me pot of boiling water because this is just taking forever. Yeah, okay. Back in the brew, Pinky. <laughs> Okay, so let's see how we do now. She's been soaking for about five minutes, and it's just not going to come out easy. And some of the time, sometimes it doesn't, and you just have to use some elbow grease to pull it out best you can. Imagine that. Ugh. So I highly, highly, highly recommend wearing gloves, egg, at least a glove for the hand that you're holding the pony with because they can burn you. I don't know this from experience, and it's no fun, and it makes you not want to do this for a while. There we go. All right. That wasn't too bad. Let's do it again. Thank you. Ah, yeah, I probably can't see that, but she's smoking. She's that hot. Hot, 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 hot pinky. Ugh. So anyways, we're just going to keep on keeping on until we're completely uh, devoid of original hair. Okay, a couple quick tips. We got all of our all of our ponies and heads all taken apart, except for this last one who we're taking the hair out of. If you're having problems gripping, check your hemostat, check the teeth, because glue can build up as you do this, and that will definitely hamper the tool from working, as it won't be able to grip well if it's got a bunch of glue build up on it. Also, some of this glue is really, really tough. Even after this, this head has been soaking in this water for about 10 minutes now, and the glue is still super, super hard. So it's, it helps to just try to break up that glue best that you can. And you may have to just soak it over and over and over and over to get all of the hair out. And force is your friend. And don't worry about tearing the vinyl. It's not going to happen. You may feel like you're breaking your fingers. But sometimes that's what it takes to get this glue out of the insides of these ponies heads. Grr! And a pot of really hot water and some strong forceps. <laughs> Time lapse. Wee. Um. No, no, I'm not gonna do it. Nope. Oh my. There is a murdered pony. Pony whose name I don't know is murdered. She isn't. Yeah, you know her name? Who is it? Everybody knows her name. It's Pinky. I don't keep track of that. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna take the symbols off using a hundred, one hundred percent pure ass. This is very important. Professional. And this stuff is a little harsh, so you really don't want it on your skin for prolonged, prolonged periods of time. I mean, come on. This is what we, we, you know, this is what I use to take off the glitter polish on my fingernails. It's not that bad. But we're going to, yeah, I soaked my cotton ball in my acetone. I'm going to sit it here for a second on her cutie mark. Twist. Oh, look at that. And you can kind of see it on my cotton ball. <laughs> So, that's all. How easy is that? And I'm just going to wipe off the rest of her body here. Okay, come on, camera. Just because it, she did have some marks and whatnot. I'm going to take my nifty Q-tips. Okay, now these Q-tips are so cool because they're flat on the big fat side here. And then they're pointy on the other side. And these are awesome for getting in tight places like around their eyes like see she's got a mark right here that I wouldn't really be comfortable sticking a big fat cotton ball up against her eyes because I am going to keep these eyes I'll probably use them as a guideline the only time I ever take the eyes off is when I intend on completely redoing them so here we go oh my gosh a completely prepped friendship is magic or G4 
My little pony. Wow! What are we doing? I don't know. Okay. So there we go. I hope this video was helpful to you guys. If it was, thumbs it up and subscribe, and we will see you next time. More cut focus. 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 Jazz hands. Okay. Jazz hands. <laughs>